glasses geeks. Um, I'm going to try to hold this microphone just a little bit closer. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this is a subject that I've been putting off for quite a while. And I'm going to try to hurry up and do it here right now while the room has a very good feeling about it because I just cleansed the room. Uh, by the way, some things that helped me, uh, incense cleansing, uh, mixing salt and rosemary together. Uh, I actually mixed Epsom salt and rosemary. Uh, apparently the more, le the less processed anything is, the better it is, which is why you want less processed salt, less processed anything. But so, uh, so if you can get your hands on rosemary plants, that's good too. Uh, but that aside, uh, I'm going to talk about something that I didn't want to talk about, but I need to, and I've been needing to. Haunted houses. This house is haunted. It's horribly haunted. I've cleansed this room several times. Thankfully, this cleansing seems to be doing good. Uh, but it's, it's really terrifying to even talk about this. But one important thing that I do want to, do want to talk about is, um, Things can be haunted for bad or dark or negative, and things can be haunted for good and light and positive. The last house I lived in, it was, quote, haunted, unquote, also. It had about three female spirits in it. Uh, one of them had, like, a short bob. It was very beautiful, blonde hair. And those spirits were very kind to me and very nice, and they saw that I was heavily abused, and thankfully, they made me feel good, and they protected me to the best of their abilities. They, they really couldn't protect me from my dad at all, and they really couldn't protect me from my family at all, because my parents would turn my brother and sister against me, and when, when you have parents turning the kids against you, you know, I mean, it's just, it's nuts. It's really nuts. I mean, I'm... I was their older daughter and yet, but that's getting into family stuff that I don't want to talk about in this video. This video is for haunted houses. So, okay. What I've learned so far, when a place is haunted for negative, it can make you depressed. It can make you angry. It can make you think thoughts that you never would have thought. Now, if a place is haunted for good, it can make you happy. It can feel like it's lifting burdens off of your shoulders and off of your heart and off your soul, off your chest. It can actually make the physical light in the room seem brighter and more vibrant. It can actually feel like it brings life into a place. If it's haunted for negative, it can make a place seem dead and still and lifeless. If it's haunted for negative, it can make a uh, it can make the very light in a room seem like the actual physical light that's on. It can make the light uh, dim or seem a whole lot dimmer or even look or feel as though it's off. Uh, if it's haunted for negative, it can f uh, actually take the oxygen and the air out of the room, which is what I'm feeling right now. This room has been a very dead air room. I don't know why it has this back door over here and then it has another door over here that opens to a bathroom. And it has this nice big window here in front of me. And yet right now as I'm talking, it feels like the air is being sucked out of this room. And like it's being sucked out of my lungs. Like something doesn't want me talking about this. But this needs to be told to the world. This needs to be said. Because there's a lot of people who are dealing with hauntings and they don't even know it. So I'm putting this information out for you, for everyone out there, so that you can know these things. This is my life experience. This is what I have learned. This is what I have found out. And this is what I'm even experiencing right now as I'm saying it here. So, you know, you know, take it with a grain of salt, you know, and opinions are like farts, you know, everyone has them and they all stink. So, but I'm telling you, you can take this as an opinion, but for me, it's fact because I have experienced this and this is just fact, but you know, you're going to have to take it, you know, as you want to, if you want to take it as an opinion, that's fine. The other thing I want to mention is that just because, and this is another video that I'm going to do over it, but just because you do not believe in it does not mean that it is not real. And just because you believe in it does not mean that it is real. <laughs> 
And I'll go into that in another video that I was wanting to do here. But uh, yeah, and I'm so glad that this room is cleansed because this house, whatever is in it, does not want me talking about this. But uh, it is true. Uh, and there, there are physical things too, obviously, you know. You'll find stuff missing, stuff will be out of place, you know. Doors and windows and whatnot will shut or open on their own. Furniture will shut or open on its own. Electronics can either... It's like they're constantly being charged with energy or their batteries are draining instantaneously. A lot of times their batteries will drain. Uh, they might have trouble charging or if you do plug them in to charge them, uh, they'll get really hot and they'll... <coughs> they won't... <coughs> They'll have trouble charging up. They'll either, it'll take them a very long time to charge or they can charge like instantaneously. And it's like, how, how did that happen? I've never plugged them in, you know, and I don't know if when it charges instantaneously or it takes a very long time for it to drain, if that means it's surrounded by good spirits or if it's not. And I don't know if you know, batteries draining instantly and it taking forever to charge. I don't know if that's a sign of bad spirits, you know, and, and I'm not sure about that. Something about this house, I was constantly being shocked when I first moved in. I forgot about that. And it was so bad. I was seeing arcs, you know, literal, like static electricity arcs that were that long. And they were arching from my finger to the light switches in this house. Whatever was, whatever is in here didn't like me especially. I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason for it. Maybe I physically look like some past person. I have no clue at all. So, uh, and yeah, I just noticed the light back there <laughs> hitting the wall. That's, that's light from the window, you know, hitting the wall, the last of the evening light. It's about 740 right now that I'm recording this. And, um, so yeah, it's 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 really upsetting. I and and, and I don't like that. Uh, the fact that I got shocked by this house, and you'll also have something else that I had. Uh, you'll you'll just you'll be walking along and you'll get shocked. Like your hair will get shocked. And I I saw these balls of electricity, balls of light, especially when I fell asleep at night. Uh, my sister. She, she had a kid and she, she wasn't able to take, take care of her for quite a while, you know, poor and everything. I had to. So, and I'm not going to go into that right now because that's a whole nother video. But when my niece would sleep over here and I had to take care of her, you know, and she was eventually, but at the beginning, especially when she would sleep over, I remember waking up in the middle of the night and there would be these millions of them, just tons of them. Well, not millions, but a whole lot of them, big electric this this size you know electricity balls hovering in the air around her and around me you know we were sleeping in the same room she has she has grand what used to be known as grand mal seizures they don't call them grand malls anymore but she has the worst case the worst class of seizure and and it runs through my mom's family so so does sleepwalking which is rather disturbing um so I don't know if seizures run through my dad's family. Something else runs through my dad's family. Either way, terrible depression runs through my dad's family. I know that. Uh, sleeplessness runs through my mom's family. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be giving that info. Anyway, so I would wake up in the middle of the night. I would be awoken by static electricity you know, static electricity. And anyway, there were these massive light balls, electricity balls balls of light they were balls of electricity they would of course light up the room and i would wake up and they'd be floating around my niece around myself you know and they got especially active whenever my niece would be staying over and i i hated them when they snapped i i had those things bothering me every time they snapped they hurt my eardrums i mean the last one was that was the biggest one I swear it popped my eardrums. It felt like it did. It just, it was so painful. And, uh, and it, it hurts because when it, you know, because it'll actually touch your skin because I've had those things touch my skin and snap and it hurts like fuck. And, 
you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of my illness actually came from uh, being ionized from this electricity that was in the air here because ionization is, I mean, anyone who knows who's like, I want to say an electrical engineer, but you know, an electrician, there we go. Anyone who's an electrician knows about the danger of electricity. And I've had a lot of those symptoms. Uh, the other problem is that all the light, all the light sockets zapped me. They zapped the hell out of me. I couldn't get my, I couldn't get anything near a light socket without being zapped by it. And I hated the light sockets most of all, but since I was having to use the light switches all the time and every last time I tried to touch one, I got hurt bad, you know, uh, I mean, that was just terrible. I mean, that was just absolutely awful. I didn't like it at all. So that can happen to you in a haunted house. Obviously I've heard of ectoplasm. Haven't, haven't had that experience yet. Thank God. Um, but I'm just here to tell you that haunted houses are real. And if it's haunted for negative, I don't know what to tell you other than to get out. And I just, I just watched a thing on the TV here who this guy had a whole lot of the same experiences. And I didn't know that a haunted house could affect you. And a haunted house can affect you for negative by having you think negative things, by having you become depressed, by having you become angry, by having the people around you become angry, by having the people around you become depressed, and by having the people around you become paranoid and think that you're lying. I've had that majorly happen. To have, you know, and and you can be influenced by this too. You, you know, you can think that the people around you are making fun of you or picking on you or that they don't mean the nice things that they say or that they mean it in a sarcastic or negative way, you know, I mean, the very people that are living with you and they, if you're being bothered, I'm sorry, but this is, this is like a hallmark sign of either being bothered or possessed is when you get paranoid against the people around you. My dad is like that. And he is, he is dark. I'm able to feel auras. I f I'm an empath. I feel them very well. I can even feel auras over a long distance like this, uh, you know, thing here. Uh, this whole internet thing. And yeah. <laughs> so... When you're constantly thinking negative things and when you're constantly thinking about negative things and you can't pull yourself out of anger or you can't pull yourself out of sadness or you can't pull yourself out of fear and and there's no outside reason for this and one big catch to this is that especially with finances, politics, you know, there's a lot of people that look at other people and say, oh, why don't they do that or this? You know, my dad is like that. That is a real good excuse to keep thinking like that, but you need to wrench your thoughts away from that. And if you can't wrench your thoughts away from it, or if you don't want to wrench your thoughts away from it, you know, if you don't want to just rip or pry or just get yourself to think about anything happy at all, that can be a real good sign that you're either possessed or that you're being strongly influenced by something negative. And... But I do strongly want to suggest uh, before you do anything drastic, and I just want to say don't get exercise, that's a mistake. But that's my experience. But that, that's a whole nother thing. Um, but first off, make sure it's not the environment that you're in and make sure that it's not someone around you, you know. And the exorcism thing is my opinion and I'll, I'll give the reason why later on, but I have found other people using exorcism as a way of abuse and to control the other people in their lives. That is wrong. I think the only time anyone should get exercised is if they themselves choose to get exercised and if they themselves go to a preacher or whatever, who or whatever you go to, to get exercised. Make sure that they're good, that they're actually a Christian, because there's lots of Satanists, I found out, that are in the church and in disguise, and they're a higher up in the church. There's a lot of people like that. 
So watch out uh, and make sure that you're not being hurt worse. Make sure that they're not trying to pull you into an occult. And, you know, a lot of them won't. I think the good guys won't accept money. I think the bad guys will. I can't, I can't give you a guarantee of that. I can't promise you that. I don't know. <laughs> I keep looking at myself on, on, on the screen here instead of at the camera. I guess I should, I need to look at the camera. I'll try looking at the camera. So, um, yeah, that's probably not going to work. So, <laughs> oh, now there's a spot on the wall there. Nice. The last bit of sunshine or sunlight right there. But yeah, so anyway, to finish this video off, because it's already 15 minutes, um, this house is haunted. I don't like it. It's a negative haunting. It's a black haunting. It's a dark haunting. And uh, it has, it's really influencing my dad. It has really, it really influenced my brother who was in here before me. I managed to clean out a lot of negative stuff today. I'm glad about that. Um, but if you're constantly having to cleanse a place, and it's not because you're using it and it's not because other people are using it and it's not because, uh, you know, who knows what, you know, is going on. It's not because this area is being used, you know. If you cleanse a place and you walk away for three days a week and you come back and it doesn't still feel good, then one, you either forgot to seal it to keep the bad stuff away or two you got a haunting <laughs> and you got problems and you need to fix them I'm not going to go into that right now I'm just saying hauntings are real and I wanted to talk about how this house is haunted and how this room has been haunted and how I'm and uh and I, I've I'm glad that I've been able to clean it out now <laughs> You know, at least at least superficially, it's kind of like scrubbing a dirt floor. That thing, it's made out of dirt. You're not going to get it clean. The best you can do is shellac the top surface, you know, beat it down so that it's real well compacted, shellac the top surface, and then just clean that. And that's kind of what this room is like. And I don't like it. So I don't like shooting videos in here. I really hate shooting videos in here, but this is the room that is cordoned off for shooting videos. So there you go. At least I have an actual physical room to shoot videos in. And I'm hoping to do my art videos in here. Uh, and yeah, speaking of which, my Hobby Hermit art videos are going to be everything non-spiritual. And my Glasses Geek art videos are going to be everything spiritual. So yeah. Spiritual, weird, extraterrestrial, Bigfoot, you name it. <laughs> so anyway, so that's it for now. Um, I know that there was a lot more that I wanted to talk about, you know, haunted houses and haunted places. Um, definitely take notes for anything that I say because it is important. Uh, I didn't write a script for this. This is entirely off the cuff. This is entirely just I'm winging it. Uh, I'm just sitting here and pouring out the important things from my soul and my heart and my mind and my life and my experience. And, and I'm doing it to find anyone else out there like me and to help anyone out there. And just, I hope I'm not alone. <laughs> I really hope I'm not alone. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope that your place is not haunted. All I can think of is pray that I manage to be safe and stay safe in here. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, I don't know what else to say. I, I can't think of any of the other stuff that I was wanting to say about this because there was some really important stuff I was wanting to say. I can't think of anything else right now. So I'm just going to end this video. Um, but yes... Oh, that was the, by the way, haunted houses, it's not your imagination. It is not your imagination. 
Believe me, it's real. Uh, and you are going to think, well, am I mentally ill? Is this me? Is it, you know, mental mental illness? What is this? But believe me, if if you spend time in a place and, you know, all kinds of weird thoughts or, or negative thoughts or depression or anger or anything start swirling through your head. And thankfully, I'm able to get up and walk away out of this room. But, you know, if you walk away out of a place and it gets better, that's a real good sign that it is haunted, you know, and that it's not you. Uh, but if you end up having problems like that, it, you know, it could be very easily the, the cheapest and the easiest and the fastest thing to do is to just cleanse yourself. And now I guess I'm going to have to do a video over cleansing. So I'll do that next. So yeah, so it's real. Haunted houses are real. Being haunted as a person is real. Uh, being bothered by spirits are real. So spirits are real. Hauntings are real. Ghosts are real. Demons are real. Evil spirits are real. Uh, and I don't have any proof except for one ghost and one entity. I don't know what it is. Oh, the last house that I lived in. So good hauntings are real. Good ghosts are real. Um, but as for any good gods, I don't know. I don't have any experience with that. So, but anyway, it's not your imagination. It's real. And I, I got problems myself, you know, so, and I'll tell you about that later. So, well, I mean, I already did in this video, but I'll tell you about how to cleanse and how to try to make it better, even if you got to cleanse on a constant basis. So, yeah. This is 22 minutes long. I'm just going to cut it off. Bye for now. So remember, nanu nanu, live long and prosper. And um, what else? Uh, happiness and laughter save lives. Hermingbirds unite. Uh, glasses geeks unite. Geeks unite. Geek, 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 geek. <laughs> and uh, oh, what was, oh, remember what Mr. Rogers says. And of course, I augment it. And I sum it up in it's you I like it's every part of you it's your soul it's your heart it's your spirit it's your personality it's you it's your core that I like I love you bye bye